Lok Sabha unanimously passes National Sports University Bill 2018 for setting up of Sports University in Manipur today. MPPC slams Government of India for inaction, warns of demanding pre merger status of Manipur if the centre continues to ignore the rising threat to Manipur's territorial integrity. Public storm BJP office, MPCC office and residents of MPs demanding to raise questions on framework agreement between NSC and IM and Centre. JCLP students wing to launch drive to check entry of illegal immigrants via Imphal Dimapur and Imphal Ziribam roads from tomorrow. And Senior Citizen for Society Manipur Appeals Fact-Finding Committee to begin its probe into Manipur University impasse at the early. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Thangjum bringing you the top stories. The Lok Sabha has today unanimously passed the National Sports University Bill 2018 for setting up of sports university in Manipur. The sixth bill in the monsoon session of the parliament was introduced by Union Sports Minister Rajavardhan Singh Rathor in the Lok Sabha last Wednesday. After discussing the bill, the House unanimously passed the bill by a voice vote. During the discussion hour, MP Prasoon Banerjee of TMC Kolkata questioned why the sports university is to be set up only in Manipur. He asserted it should be set up in the entire country. Other members of parliament in the house supported the bill and his post for setting up the excellent center for sports in every state of the country. They also stressed for sports to be included as compulsory subjects in school syllabus so that children are inclined towards sports right from the early stage. Congress MP of Manipur, Dr. T. H. Maina, urged the MPs to support the bill. Speaking on the bill, Union Minister for Sports, Rathor asserted that establishment of the sports university would facilitate sports-related research, training and administration. He said the sports faculty of the University of Canberra will collaborate with the sport university in Manipur. The faculty will stay in Manipur and teach the players and sports students. Rathor further mentioned that the bill contains provisions for starting offline campuses in other states and even abroad. After discussion on the bill, Deputy Speaker of Lok Sabha, Thambi Durai, called for a voice vote on the bill. With majority of eyes in favour of bill, the Deputy Speaker passed the National Sports University Bill 2018. Knowledge is required. सिर्फ जोश से काम नहीं चलता कि इतने साल बाद भी हमारे देश के अंदर एक इस तरह की यूनिवर्सिटी नहीं है जो अपने आप में एक एक बीकॉन ऑफ नॉलेज हो एक इस तरह का इंस्टीट्यूशन जो पूरे देश का मार्गदर्शन कर सकता हो खेलों से और खेल से हर हर सेक्टर जो जुड़ा हुआ है उसके साथ कि इस स्पोर्ट्स यूनिवर्सिटी के अंदर जितने भी कोर्सेज होंगे वो सभी कोर्सेज मणिपुर में चलाए जाएंगे इसका जो चांसलर होगा वो एक खिलाड़ी होगा इसके अंदर जो एकेडमिक काउंसिल होंगे और एक्टिविटी काउंसिल होंगे उसके अंदर भी खिलाड़ी होंगे ताकि जो अंतर्राष्ट्रीय लेवल पे खेल चुके हैं जैसे ओलंपिक्स या वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप यूनिवर्सिटी का मार्गदर्शन कर सके नॉलेज इज रिक्वायर्ड MPP has warned the Indian government of demanding pre-merger status of Manipur if the Indian government continues to ignore the rising threat to the state's territorial integrity. The party further appealed the four-member Central Survey team to convert its assurances into actions at the earliest. Addressing media persons at MPP office near Polo Ground this evening, President of MPP Oinam Jugindra reminded that and all political central officials inspected disputed border pillars and subsidiary pillars during their visit in the state on July 24th and 25th. He further mentioned that a team is sure to come back within a month with necessary documents and equipments. President of the party strongly condemned that statement made by Minister of State Home Kiran Rijiju in Rajya Sabha that there is no border issue. Taking part in the press meet, General Secretary Administration of MPP, 
H. Gita Jain expressed suspicion that the recent survey team that visited Manipur was not genuine. He opined that the team must have come just to pacify the irate people of the state to avoid mass upheavals. The general secretary also slammed the state government for being indifferent to the issues of the state. Minister of State Home Affairs Kiran Rizijuna. Manipur ki boundary da yen abalay ti habi dugi matang da maan hari bado bado MPP na khak yaabang amlo. Yam nung sa tijer bdi Manipur ki lajeri bo hujki area dising kuni thoi sahun kuni tarayat. Masde ki sum picture lagta na ay koi kari orega dugi habi se MPP da nunang da bannati. Kari kumba Bharat Sarkar na ay koi bo neglect toraba adu itar di press P major status to taana bo hona gani habi se MPP ma idhi ki swain na thamzege. Ano hari bo boundary pillar ma yam nung koi da apprehension lagre ay koi nomi to dusum hai ta chingna ay koi hana lajeri ba. Kabo beli bangun tak kau di tangan pada kau di tangan beli film lagi ni. Hari lagi bercakap nak apa? Minister of State Home Kiran Riju nangang, hibah Wang Wang Changang. Gawai nampak India kiri presiden orang lakpi kiba. Mungkin bercakap nampak itu sport nangang bihiba. Hm do. Madu atuh mungkin thapa nampak pinna bihda mungkin tak. MPP nampak pelik tak jadi? Kalau mungkin thapa nampak tak tarik jadi. MPP nampak macam kaku di mungkin kau ikhong cengal macam sahabat jadi. Joint Committee of Amuko CCSK and USIM along with Myra Paibi members stormed the residence of Rajya Sabha MPs Khetri Mayum Bhavananda and T. Maina today, condemning Article 371. The protesters demanded to table the framework agreement between NSC and IM and the centre during the monsoon assembly session. Approaching K. Bhavananda's residence, the women protesters chanted various slogans demanding dismissal of irresponsible MPs. A team of Manipur police rushed at the spot and contained the situation. The protesters then submitted a memorandum to the MP after much confrontation. Speaking to media persons on the sidelines, Ima Ramani of Nupi Samaj asserted that there will be upheld in the state if the MPs, who are the representatives of the people, do not act in accordance with the interests of the people. Later, the protesters stormed the residence of the main and submitted a similar memorandum. Parlement of Hajar Lautora U, Miam Yapama Tabak Tora U, Aduna, Moyna Mak Parliament of Moyi, and I share Angu Moyi to Tori Bakunabashe, Maya Shang Shang La Fokira Wakoita and Naba, Aduna, Miam Yapama Tabak Tora Di, Mahapam Tadokodogadi, Akapot Hadogodogadi, I quit a shook with a Matamina, Pierre Wang and Gemia and Gemakailo, Kailo, I got not see Kari in over Parliament of Tori, Lafora, a Shemba. Apa mak kui miak ya apa malah fakta di sini ya roh sini. Wajar kita tu juga. Mani belum mai hau lagi. Mani belum mai hau lagi. Aku kui mai am dia. Mai am dia hatu kalau tahu lah pak. Masih hatu kui matam nama mani belum dia. Mai hau lagi apa? Large numbers of students also stormed BJP office and MPCC office, demanding MPs to raise questions. On the framework agreement between the NSC and IM and Government of India at the Parliament to make its details public today. The students led by Kangli Park Students Association case a stormed MPCC office in BT Road first. However, police personnel prevented them from entering the office. Later, four students were allowed to enter the office to submit a memorandum to the General Secretary of the party. The students then headed towards BJP office and Nitya Park to take. They already put our barricades by the police personnel prevented the students from entering the offices. Later, some students' representatives met with the party members and submitted a memorandum. Political parti singa sih, mihul dan nasal laga. Kujuk jik tawuri bawa muncul balai mereka family bawa MP singa mereka tegi su. Asing ulu assembly yang sih dah serang nari bawa naga Indo naga frame agreement sih butok pitu na kari nuha betul kanan nana bawa mati lagi bawa kui gigi Indo naga frame agreement sih jasin nampi dah mukta Manipur gigi interior itu sok lebar kari kumak di sana mukta dah Manipur gigi teritori sih jasin nampi purak bayar royam mati asing ulu bawa Indo naga frame agreement sih bu miam dah kari nuha betul sab sab kangan luhai na kui ngasih demand terus ngasih memandu sih bisan balak pun. Muncul gigi assembly kujuk pang family bawa balai muncul balai muncul sih dah butok laga kanan nari dah mana butok tu ni hai na kui tak salam. Muslim Council Manipur MC and Manipur Muslim Welfare Organization MMWO and Minutong Hafiz Hatta Social Welfare Union MHSWU jointly states a certain against implementation of Article 370 
one closed a in Manipur at Hatta Aminu Tong today. Speaking to media persons, President of Manipur Muslim Welfare Organization Abdullah Patan strongly asserted that resolution to the framework agreement signed between the NSC and IM and the government of India should not affect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the state. He maintained that people of Manipur will not tolerate Article 371, Close A, or any other similar article in the state. Manipur the Article 371 A Close. That is why we have given lakh pasida. That is why we have given masigi se koi the parliament masigi bill se pass to be yaroi masigi mana be yega masigi na basu yaroi pass to basu yaroi hai koshakto. Maduni ngasi ay koi maithi pangal miang bolu na masigi organisation sing na ngasi silent protest to jari basa. Maithi pangal ipai pushing na apul bagi shakam na na bohona bata Manipur ki interest na bohona bata Manipur ki identity ka na bohona bata chan chan ki bokhong jang amasung thawai na pontha pi ki ba amasung. JCLP students' wing will launch drives to check entry of illegal immigrants via Imphal Dimapur and Imphal Ziribam Road by deploying task forces starting tomorrow. Convener of JCLP students' wing, Manjit Sarangthem, announced the same during a press meet at JCLP's office in Konjeng Hazari Lekai this afternoon. He said a 10-member team each will carry out a drive along both the national highways. He intimated that JCLP students' wing got a tip-off from Ziribam and other areas regarding entry of illegal immigrants in Manipur in the wake of over 40 lakh people being excluded from the final draft of Assam's National Registrar of Citizen NRC list. Manjit asserted that the drive will be assistance to the undertakings of Manipur Police to curb the same. He urged Manipur Police to check if outsiders coming in the state from Assam hold NRC certificates and not to let them in the state just because they hold voter ID cards. He further appealed to passenger service vehicle plying on these two national highways to not bring outsiders into the state. Tongan-tongan mah transporter ini cuma lawu singa suh, ekoi mitop singa sa, ekoi masagi water agdi kag payba, aduga Indian ke city je nama orang suh, ekoi ningti na dokumen verification tau udna, pusing birakta na ba, apil tujuhgalu na kari gumba, hari ba na lokal singa suh, masagi setak se, yaudna pusing lupa taraga di madu. Kau itu orang dapat untuk doksing tholok payah, biasa. Kau ini gari kesin lawak sing dah. Thamzeh bagel ini naik kau join kami tu orang naik payah. Sistem tu nuing naik. Kau hakcin lalu kau naik kau ini top sing asih tak thok naba, kan dok naba. Drive and verification kau ini tax for same kau naik kau ini hiring dekik orang kau dorip bersih naik kau ini makata na. Kau ini akan naba firi naba lomi naba lebar kesin naik kau ini lep lep biasa sing asih media kita untuk pautum saya. Senior Citizen for Society Manipur has appealed to the fact-finding committee constituted to prop into Manipur University issue to start its investigations at the earliest. The society further appealed to those concerned to withdraw from taking out any mass movement or agitations when investigations are underway. Addressing media persons at Manipur Press Club this afternoon, General Secretary of Senior Citizen for Society Manipur, Professor El Sadananda appealed for saving the academic year for, of the students. The senior professor also welcomed the initiative of the Ministry of HRD in granting a month's leave to VC Pandey so that an inquiry may be proceeded. He asserted, as per the rules, investigations cannot be carried out as long as the vice chancellor still remains in the office. Professor Sadananda appealed to Musu, Muta, and Musa to extend full support to the finding committee, lest investigations may never proceed and truth will be revealed, furthering on more plights. He appealed for cooperation in bringing an end to the 65 day old university impasse so that normalcy and peace may be restored in the academic atmosphere of the university and the state. Strikers Kambu Musugi Community Ahum Haitare Association Ahum Da Appeal to Jai Cooperation PBO Strikes is suspended or Tambio Patam Kardang Tamaki Matam Jai Aduga Madurde Da Pain Dava Siwali Si Say, for example, during the inquiry committee, he man inquired to ring each other. Ajay Prasad Pandey said, "Ma, station lip to hold it open. Hi, what happened? Yes, under the masala, I need a kanji." 
The silent solidarity rally in demand for removal of Vice Chancellor Pandey by leaders of all political parties was banned from setting off today. Veteran politician Okram Joy has strongly condemned the suppression on democratic rally supported by the people of the state and the university community. The silent rally to be flagged off from Kakwa Pukri Mapal Community Hall till MU Gate was halted by a team comprising of top police officers, including an SD of Imphal West, this afternoon. The rally is tried to talk it out with officials to let them proceed, but no avail. The DC concern failed to give permission for the rally on the ground that restrictions under Section 144 of CRPC has been imposed in Imphal West District. Later, the mass joined in the ongoing rally hunger strike in of Musa. Muta Musu at MU Gate in Kanchipur by traveling in their personal vehicles. Veteran Okram Joy, former MLA RK Anand, Dr. N.G. Bijoy, State President of Shiv Sena, Manipur State, M. Tombe, Secretary of CPI, Manipur State Unit, L. Sotin Kumar, and executive members of the Congress Party, CPI, NEIGP, Trinamul Congress Party, and many people of the area were among the rallies. Speaking on the sidelines, Ojoy asserted that the peace really is in connection with the Manipur University impasse as a just one. He termed it unfortunate that the relevant authority has put a ban on the rally. The veteran politician reiterated that until and unless the university crisis resolved, they will continue to support and took out movement for the same. The man has taken a, 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 a lot of suppressive measure. This particular thing, we requested the permission. Uh, SP has recommended, DC has refused it. Refused it. I do not know why that should be anti, -pub uh, anti public, it should be anti uh, illegal. Such activities on the part of the people should be uh, allowed to take place this in order to promote uh, the democracy. And the present ongoing strike in the uh, Manipur U University against fully justified. They are fighting for justice. I don't see any reason why the state as well as the university and also, also the students' community have been subject to such harassment prolonged torture and this this is not done this is going to destroy the democratic uh, distinct foundation of the state itself the system itself former deputy chief minister gagangam was felicitated today upon being recently appointed as a member of the congress working committee the highest decision making body of the indian national congress the felicitation program organized by tamenglong district congress committee was held at tri auditorium in chingmayrong the appointment is the first time ever from Manipur and the entire Northeast states, excluding the state of Assam. Speaking on the occasion, Gaikangam is short of raising various issues of the state during the meetings of CWC members. He maintained, prologuing the various issues will bring no positive impact to the government nor to the people. The former minister urged for cooperation in bringing an end to all the issues of the state. He also termed the statement made by Union Minister of State Kiran Rijiju in Rajya Sabha that there are no Indo-Myanmar border dispute hurting the sentiment of the people of Manipur as unfortunate. Gai Kangam opined it would have been heartwarming if the Union Minister gave the assurance of looking into the matter in the wake of people and various CSOs in the state claiming that there are border disputes instead of negating the claims. The former Deputy Chief Minister also opined that granting leave to Vice Chancellor Pandey will not solve the university crisis. He said a transfer order would have been more apt. Gakangam assured that the Congress Party will extend all possible assistance to the government if it works in the interests of the people. Uh, Human rights activists have condemned constant harassment method out towards them 
by the Indian Security Forces. Committee on Human Rights Manipur and the United Protest Program states are set in as a part of the campaign by various human rights activists being carried out on the Parliament Street of the National Capital today. The activists asserted that they are being constantly harassed for fighting against atrocities committed by security forces and other top officials under the shadow of unlawful activities, Prevention Act, National Security Act, AFSPA, and Anti-People Law. The sit-in states against harassment of human rights activists in Manipur and other parts of the country was staged at Kwakaithil Akham Lekai Community Hall. Speaking on the sidelines, convener of Committee on Human Rights, Manipur Pul Pulindro Konsam alleged that the security forces in the country have been carrying out atrocities towards civilians of Manipur and other Maoist and Naxalite affected areas of the country. He also mentioned about various crimes including rape and murder committed by the security forces. He highly condemned the Indian security forces for the constant harassment including physical violence towards the human rights activist. Committee on Inclusion of Sanamahi Lining in the List of Minority Religions of India, Salai Mirel in a press release informed that memoranda have been submitted to the President and the Prime Minister of India, the Chairman of National Commission for Minority, the Union Ministry of Minority Affairs, Government of India, the go Governor and the Chief Minister of the State, and the Minister of MOBC regarding inclusion of Sanamahism in the Minority Religion List of India under Section 2 Close C of National Commission for Minority and SCM Act 1992. On that note, we're going to take a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on the dwelling population of Manipuri ponies. And keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break and you're watching Primetime English News. The population of Manipuri ponies have dwindled to a great extent in the recent years. The Manipuri ponies, which have closely connection with the history of Manipur state, are on the brink of being extinct due to the negligence of the government and relevant departments in preserving the Manipuri pony. Impact News reporter Ketri Mayum Premchan and camera person Guru Mayum Bumeshwar brings you an exclusive report in this regard. Being a birthplace of the game Polo, the people of Manipur have been proud of giving this game to the world. But the fate of the Manipuri pony remains uncertain in this state. As part of Queen Canal Livestock Census of India, conducted after every five years, the population of Manipuri pony has been dwindling since 2003. A total of 1,898 ponies recorded in 2003 fell down to 1,218 in 2007 2008 and just to 1,011 in 2011 2012. The report of Queen Canal Livestock Census for the year 2017-18 is yet to arrive. But as part of a survey conducted by the Manipur Pony Society with the support from Manipur Horse Riding and Polo Associations and other interested growth in the year 2014, the total population of Manipur Pony would be only around 600. The biggest human tragedy, the biggest tragedies of the Manipur civilization and Haiba Taragadi, Sagol Kangzai, the Gi Polo Poki, and Hiraga Sagolzi Manipur, Sagol Masinzi was young under air. Road accidents and food poisoning are the two biggest factors for undeservedly high fatality rate of the ponies. Rapid urbanization has caused the natural habitats, grazing fields of the ponies to dwindle, leading them to come out to the roads, which ultimately forced them to survive on the gurveys and little patches of grazing ground left in and around the valley. Here 
Lambi, Shrok, the Tadoga, Kazinka, the Tadoga, Mapu Panda, but don't tore it. Sanabung, Kanjibung, Hanelism, Masilo, and Muxi, Sasangi, raising ground me. Population in a demand to Rupa, a manipulated lady, but we playground Kudimak, like I like Kudimak, the community owned in Lakre, Madrigi, developmental project in Lakre. Pony lovers and organizations such as Manipu Pony Society, Manipu Horse Riding and Polo Association have been relentlessly striving to protect and preserve Manipuri Pony. However, it has proved to be quite a challenging task because of the lack of attention from the government and the authorities concerned. Despite various obstacles, Manipuri Pony Riding Farm has been producing around 20 to 30 ponies every year. However, lack of proper grazing fields for the ponies poses a lot of difficulties in rearing the animals. It may be mentioned that the previous state government, that is the Congress government, has already framed one Manipuri Pony Conservation Policy, but the policy remained useless. Even in this era of BJP-led government, the fate of Manipuri Pony is remain uncertain. Government and the administration is not the same. It's long-term vision. Aduk hauji hauji tangai pada nak koi rapid reaction sih nak kari kita udah bunuh hai budi, koi kudeng mana lambi dia lagi, pasal god maya, koi dia apil lagi kari, no hai buda. Government na grazing field kara. Infal is West Bishnu Put Hawal Kaching, asyik area saya jadi pira supi ngah caw susu cawna, 500 acre, 600 acre, suku mungkin grazing field saya thambi lagi, saya kongje kara kehinggara hai dia madugi, wakan dani. People of Manipur have been demanding to save Manipuri pony, but the sad part is the concerned authority has turned blind eye. The new state government who has already announced to take actions for the conservation of Manipur pony, but still there is no sign of improvement in this regard. With camera person, Guru Mayum Bumeshwar Sharma, this is Ketri Mayum Premsan, Impact News, Imphal. Secretary Publicity and Propaganda of Prescribed Outfit Kang Lake Park Communist Party, Military Joint Committee Ning Thim Mangang in a press release informed that the Military Joint Committee, a faction of Kang Lake Park Communist Party, KCP, observed its third foundation day at the general headquarters of the party today. The day was also observed in other divisions of the party. Restrictions on entry of vehicles from the Indian territory towards Myanmar despite there is no such restriction from India have created apprehensions as to whether the close ties between India and Myanmar will be affected. It has been reported that the government of Myanmar imposed the restriction on entries of vehicles from India to Myanmar with effect from May 4th. Besides, the earlier 10 rupees entry fee charge by the Immigration Office of Myanmar to Indians have now increased to 20 rupees. General Secretary of Kuki Chief Association, Technopal District, L.S. Saikojang Baite stated that there are no restrictions nor any immigrant fee is charged to Myanmar nationals on the entry to the Indian territory. He lamented that despite repeated complaints raised during Myanmar Numid Health in Moray and Technopal, no actions are taken till date. Baite drew the attention of the state government and the center to look into the matter at the earliest. Aduli Mahoy Gari Sanglaga, Ekoiga Gari Sang Sangwe Yadradi, Mahoy Gari Sangudo, Tingsara, Natradi Ekoigi, Gari Su, Balmada Sangai, Gorman of Manipuna, Masi Atu Buddha, and is the Palo Birga, Ekoi Gari Su, Friendship Ne Herga, Friendship Gi, Asing Baputoxe Haina and Nasi Civil Association Secretina, Gorman the appeal to we Masi Ayaba, Ekoi Su Sangnava, Gorman of State Na, Gorman of Indiana, see in a stipal Lurga. Manipur Historical Society organized a one-day memorial lecture on Manipur Gya Apun Masaktam Sagatpa in connection with the death anniversary of Pandit Moirang Thim Narendra at Manipur Press Club today. Speaking on the occasion, President of the Society, Sapam Bhaigya, stated that people of the state are believed to be originated from Kankhui and Tharul Caves during prehistoric period. He has said the state of Manipur in a conglomerate of many small princely states inhabited by different indigenous communities. But he can maintain that it is the responsibility of every community to protect the territorial integrity of the state. Manipur is a prehistory of Manipur. Da koi ke kangkui kepta, ada ke tharol surung da asin asin mami si adum thay na dekile rehat prehistory period ke, adu ke matang da mau koi ke kar advance days lakpa matang da protohistory period hai na mula kani protohistory period si da na koi ke khudam mana da kaburugi matam 
adagi purei romba gi matam wang prien gi matam smai thodan manipur tam pakhi akoi bada akoi gi kharkha kangak pa hai bata re manipur tam pakhi khoi gi geological finding gi matung gi matam mam da sowa pa amo re me ba aduna machine kang hela ak pa matam da khoi gi ma gi akoi bada hai bata re khoi gi mi singa se sum khun ta chale the first counseling for undergraduate and postgraduate students of Pandit Dindayal Upadhyay Institute of Agricultural Science Utlao was held at Atal Bihari Bajpai Conference Hall of the Institute today. Discussion on how to increase agricultural yields and boost the income of the farmers of the state was held on the occasion. Speaking on the occasion, Chairman of the Institute, former Union Minister T. H. Chauba expressed his concerns for the well-being of the farmers of the state. He stated that people of all wakes of life live on the produce of the farmers. Chaube assured that he will work towards boosting the economy of the farmers by 2020. America is <laughs> highly highly and not a agriculture and not a good thing. Since I have seen Hanna put on over there, second and lucky, hard education. I wish in Jagi of the Nap, Rene, Educacy of Marun and Education of the Food safety Bishnupur sees adulterated shrimps during a drive in Nambol market today. The shrimps applied with red colorants for enhanced freshness along with the colorants we are seized for tasting. The drive was carried out by a team led by designated officer of food safety Bishnupur, Y. Surendro and food safety officer M. Dinesh at shops selling fermented and dry fishes in Nambol market. The official stated that drives were also being carried out in Moirang and Bishnupur markets. social <laughs> media, Machu Sangena, Ama, Pau Pangwadagi, Akoi Bishnupu, Food Safety Enforcement Wing Nangasi, Namwon Bazarda, Quina, Nayum Pom Dukan Singh, the Quina Tap Chataba Matamda, High River Kajing Singhase, Makuna, Machu Akwegi, the Bazar Dagi Low Boneti Hai, Ado Kajing Jilow Matamse, the Makuna, Machu Jesang Nanaba, Makuna, Machu Pogdo in a Pireva, Pogdor to Sokina Kajitang Lay than Akuna, Pagasare, Pogdor to Kari, Pogdor no High Body, Akwesu Kande, Testo Riverina. I don't know how you were cutting singers, he saw the Hakshang Sunga, Oibara, Oitabara, Hibut, Testoroga, Mayampuna Kamina Sena, who is to go for city, we make it to get Family members of an alleged rape victim due to detention of the government and the police to arrest an army personnel who perpetrated the act on April 13th. The victim is a 17 year old girl reading in class 12, and the perpetrator is an army personnel posted in Jammu and Kashmir, identified as Haikru Jam Chitranjan, 30 years, son of H. Munal from Andhra Kuno. Speaking to media persons at Manipur Press Club today, aunt of the victim stated that the two was in a relationship for a short while, after which the men sexually assaulted the girl, taking advantage of her innocence. He alleged that the man then rejected a girl's proposal to marry her, persuading her to give him some time. He then outrightly rejected the girl on the pretext that he already has a girlfriend and that he never acted inappropriately against her. The aunt maintained that the incident came to light after the victim narrated it to one of her sisters. She stated that the victim's family had been approached, the guy's family, however, the later remained entirely. Indifferent to the matter, the aunt said that a case was registered at women police bottom part. However, no relevant actions have been taken so far. She urged concerned authorities to arrest Chitranjan and take befitting action against him without further delay. Police <laughs> Manipuri Students Federation MSF in a press release informed that 
Late Athoba Bebam Chitaranjan Mangang will be commemorated on his 14th that anniversary on August 16th. MSF also said a silent protest rally will be taken out on the day from Kwakaitel Takelambam Lekai to Tau Ground and appealed for public participation. It may be recalled that Bebam Chitaranjan immolated himself against the Dekranian law under a spot, giving special powers to the armies in Manipur. Pre production ceremony of home films Manipur's productions. Inamma, a Manipuri feature film, was held today. The event was held at the residence of film producer Chandra Kumar Takilambam in Sangai Pro. The first sequel of Inamma backed the Manipur State Kala Academy 2015 award. Gokul Boni, Bala Debita Biju are in the lead roles of the second sequel of the film to be directed by director Homeshwari. The film is expected to be released on January 31st, 2019. Before we conclude, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Lok Sabha unanimously passes National Sports University Bill 2018 for setting up of Sports University in Manipur today. MPPC slams Government of India for inaction warns of demanding pre-merger status of Manipur if the centre continues to ignore the rising threat to Manipur's territorial integrity. Public Storm BJP Office, MPCC Office and residents of MPs demanding to raise questions on framework agreement between NSC and IM and Centre. JCLP students wing to launch drive to check entry of illegal immigrants via Imphal Dimapur and Imphal Ziribam roads from tomorrow. And Senior Citizen for Society Manipur appeals fact-finding committee to begin its probe into Manipur University impasse at the